this on. Hi. <laughs> Is it like live? Yeah, no, it's, I'm gonna save it to YouTube. Oh. That worked well last time. Okay, so this is about flashcards so that our friends at home and our friends in class know what to do with completing the flashcards. I can't exactly tell you a due date yet because that will be dependent on what we get covered next week, but the earliest your flashcards would be due is next Friday. That's the earliest. I could see us being ready to test on this. If you go to our Google Classroom, here is a list of the terms. These are all the flashcards that you will make. I've said this before, but just so everybody's clear, each line in each column is a card. In other words, beat and pulse are basically the same thing, so they go on the same card. Um, amplitude and volume are basically the same thing, so they go on the same card. So you're doing one for each of these, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna write the term on the front Meter, you're gonna write meter on the front. You're gonna turn the card over and write the theory definition for meter. That either comes from my PowerPoint, which I'll show you where to find, what you've learned in class, or your own research. Um, for meter, I'm looking for something like, in music refers to how the beats are grouped and divided. They don't have to be huge long textbook definitions. They don't have to be perfect English, but there are a couple things that I'm looking for, like on meter, you gotta address grouping and division. That's part of it. Um, Pythagoras, you gotta tell me probably where he was from and what he did for music. Don't tell me about a triangle theorem. I don't care right now because this is music theory, right? So we're talking about how it's relevant to what we've done in this class. Um, I would say that now in class, we've definitely made it all the way to here as far as what we've covered in class. Okay, we've covered the first two columns pretty thoroughly, I think. Um, tonic through leading tone are all just names of scale degrees, so we'll knock those out really quickly next week. These down here are related to scales. Okay, so definitely these first two columns, I feel like you have the information mostly in your head or your notes. I'll show you the slideshow in just a little bit where you can get those. Okay, back to the um, classroom. Here is the presentation I've been using in class. Realize this is a working document. It looks familiar, right? Um, but it's got, that's where the terms are, are also listed. But slides like um, this one, there's overtone series. Um, here are slides about clefs that will help you with those. So a lot of your terms you can pull straight out of here, right? All these are in there. So you can just take that definition and use it. That's fine. Um, that third column that we haven't gotten to yet, they're not in there yet, but that's my weekend goal, okay? So that's why I say this is a working document. This doesn't take you all the way to the test yet, but it will before test time. Okay, uh, let me show you one other thing. At the end of the list of terms, you have a category that says all major key signatures. That's gonna require 15 cards. Okay, the fastest way to do those is to make 15 cards that look like this. Okay is make 15 cards that look like that and start with that. Then as we learn our key signatures, it's gonna come from the homework that was due today with all the major keys. We're gonna take that and create key signatures from that homework. So eventually you'll take these cards and you'll have one that looks just like that. Do you know what key signature has no sharps or flats in it? C major. C major, so on the back you will write C major, okay? You'll have another one that looks like maybe, well, then you'll do this one and you'll write its name on the back. Then this will be another card with its name on the back. This will be another card. We did not put a clef. You may be, it's not this, right? You want me to drag it out of the way like it when I throw things away? Um, <laughs> I don't care what clef you do these in. I do care where you put the flats and sharps. In other words, you cannot do this.
because that's not what they look like in music. And this is one of those things that you've probably seen your whole life and never thought about how it was done. There is a right way. If you Google key signatures, you'll see them. Just be really specific about which line or space you put things on. And if you're not ready to do these, that's fine. Middle of next week, you will be. But if you're wanting to stay ahead or you're wanting to use the time, draw 15 blank staff cards, and then you can real quickly knock out those key signature cards. So these will be due possibly next Friday, maybe a couple days later.